Hey, party people. Good morning, Krusty Crew. We just got the bricks and minifigs here in Austin, Texas to do some Lego shopping. There's nothing really that we need today. I'll be the judge of that. But I am excited to see what all is new here because the last time we were here was probably a month ago, a month and a half ago, it feels it's been a like. While. It's, been a while. it's been a while. And I feel like every time we're here, the inventory shifts over so much. So hopefully there's a lot of new stuff on the shelf. But also with it being so close to the holidays, I'm really hoping that we find some winter village kind of stuff. I think that'd be really fun. But also apparently there's a minifig sale happening somewhat soon. I need to go inside and like figure out all the details for you guys. But I know that there's a lot of minifigs that Ross wants. So we'll probably be back pretty soon to take advantage of that. Another big event happening here at the Austin Bricks and Minifigs is the day after Santa breaks into your house and leaves you presents and coal. I believe there might be an end of the year sale. And that's usually the best time of the year to get good deals on sets. So if you didn't understand that, that's happening starting on the 26th through the end of the year. Are you ready to head in, Ross? Let's go, let's go. Bricks and minifigs, bricks and minifigs, bricks and bricks and bricks and minifigs. Emily, give me a fit check. You look good, Ross. Look at you, your Disney shirt. Show him your hat. Look at that. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you, Ross. All right, guys, so we just got into the store, and right off the bat, I'm seeing just an awesome little gem from LEGO history. These are the LEGO Elf sets. If you talk to most people, they're going to tell you that Elves was probably one of the most OP, one of the best series of sets ever. And it's really unfortunate how they got canceled, and we actually have the inside scoop on how Elves got canceled. It's really sad when you really think about it. So this is what happened. When Elves first came out, knocked it out of the park. People were buying it off the store shelves like crazy. But when Series 2 came out, they uh, they neglected to put a lot of the beasts in it. So there wasn't as many dragons as there was in the first one. And it didn't perform that well. So Lego at that time decided, well, it's not performing too well in Series 2. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just cancel it. But we already have Season 3 coming out. So we're going to let Season 3 come out. Well, then Season 3 comes out. You know what they did? They put in more giant animals and the giant beasts and it's sold like hotcakes again. But unfortunately, Lego had already put the kibosh on Lego elves. <laughs> and, and that's why Lego elves got canceled. It's the saddest thing ever. But then looking up here, we do have the infamous majestic tiger. Some would call it the butthole tiger because if you turn it around, you can see that it does in fact have a nice little flower back there. This is a blast from the past for me. This is the Life on Mars sets. So these came out in 2001. If you've seen in previous videos, they've had a few of these before. And what's really interesting is seeing these old colors that Lego does not make anymore. My favorite being this like sand purple. Super sad we don't get it anymore because I love that color. Okay, so the idea is that you can actually use these cloths to like pick up the little boulders here. And uh, I guess move them around. I don't know really what you're <laughs> supposed to do with it, but they usually had like something in it. Oh yeah. So what is that? It's a really weird piece, I remember. And I guess it's probably, you know, whatever this lore is, probably the energy source that they're collecting, wow. that they're fighting with the uh, the humans to take. So it's just a really, like, interesting little build. What you a know, weird theme. <laughs> yeah, it was wow. a bizarre theme, but I loved it. <laughs> and then over here, this is actually the only fairground set we don't have. It's, oh, yeah. yeah. I like to call it a spinny derby. I don't oh. actually know what they're called. Oh, cool. So there you go. So you can just spin it there. So you can hook up a motor. Go I used to quick. love those as a kid. I don't know if I could do that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could handle that much. Stomach's a little too queasy. Take a look over here. They have a ton of Lord of the Rings and Hobbit stuff, but I've noticed a lot of their Lord of the Rings stuff has gone pretty quickly. We have the attack on Weathertop, as well as that scene in The Hobbit where he rides in the barrel. We have uh, Boat Town, Lake Town over here, and then we have Battle of the Five Armies. This is a pretty good collection of uh, Lord of the Rings and Hobbit stuff. Something tells me that these are gonna go really hot again if LEGO continues to make LEGO Lord of the Rings sets. And then over here, this is where to keep a lot of the smaller vehicles, and I'm always on the hunt for little micro-scale mystery machines. I found a few here in the past, and I'm pretty sure I have like eight or nine in my collection now, but I don't see any today, unfortunately. This is cool. I'm looking in the uh, the pile of dolphins, and I think I found a shiny dolphin. Whoa. <laughs> like Pokemon? <laughs> yeah. Lava Trash. Now, this is from Power Miners, one of my all-time favorite themes. Really unfortunate that that one got canceled. I like this. It's called Lava Trash. It's a joke, uh, like a play on words of Alcatraz, and essentially they have this giant lava monster trapped in here. Whoa. And I think you can, you know, like pick him up or something like that, but he just looks so cool. I absolutely love this dude. Look at him. I actually don't have a lava monster. I have the other rock monsters from the first wave. So you can pose this around, and then the idea is with this 
you can uh, use it to like launch things like rocks or other little rock monsters around. So that's a pretty cool <laughs> little trick there. Something I also really liked about these sets was the uh, the minifigures. So the idea is they've gotten so deep in the earth that they need to wear these like thermal suits and they shoot water at these monsters. And I just really like the uh, the print on there. It's all chrome and everything. It's really nicely done. Such a shame that this theme got canceled, really. It's the best, and I'd love to see it come back in some form, you know? Speaking of canceled themes, take a look at this. This is the Soldier's Fort, and I think it goes really well as like a extension to the recent El Dorado set. I really like the detail they have like on the uh, the hat there. Look at that, that's really nice detail. I still need to build mine. <laughs> <laughs> this squid piece down here is really crazy. Oh, the octopus? Yeah, yeah I, I haven't love seen that. that octopus in a while. That was Whoa. a really old element that they used to use a lot, but I don't really see it anymore. Another blast from the past for me. I used to love these Alien Conquest sets. I thought the aliens are very well done, like tons of detail on there. Look at like the translucent brain over here. And I guess this is the Earth Defense HQ. I never had this set, but this was back in a time where Lego would typically make giant sets like this, where it was like a giant car slash tank slash jet fighter slash HQ. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> a lot oh, wow. going on there, but it's a super cool set. So I think you can like, spin this around and you can like launch the uh the jet fighter out that way i don't know what happened in that 2011 2012 era but a lot of good themes got canceled yeah. speaking of good themes take a look at this they have a lot of prince of persia themes and it's just such a shame that that movie was terrible because these are awesome sets look at that camel I don't have a camel figure. I want a camel figure. Look at that. We need to get a camel figure. <laughs> Look at the, the printing on her. She has a really cool torso. The designers actually kept in like all these little snot bricks here. The idea of that is because in the original game for Prince of Persia, you can actually climb up walls a lot. You see it in the movie too, but I really like that they incorporated that, that you know, you could run up the side of walls. I didn't know that it was a video game, so <laughs> I learned something today. There you go. <laughs> Moving down here, this is the Illager Raid set from Minecraft. A lot of the Minecraft bros say that this is probably one of the best Lego Minecraft sets, especially for the value. Something really interesting about it is you see this dude over here? You wouldn't know it because it's in Minecraft form, but this is actually Kai from Ninjago. So they oh, made yeah. a player skin of Kai from Ninjago, and so he's uh, he's defending the village here. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's really neat. And then uh, down here, this is, uh, I forget what his name is, but I always die to him. He's the worst. Oh, no. Oh, no. Really great set. I have it. I haven't built it yet because I'm a terrible person. Check it out. OG Chamber of Secrets. Look at the Basilisk Snakes. You know what's sad is those uh, glow-in-the-dark knives right there for its teeth are worth like 20 to 50 bucks, something out in that range. Whoa. And I found my Basilisk, but I can't find the knives for it. So I'm just like, ugh, it's the worst. And then I really like this uh, this Phoenix piece. The idea is you can actually put the minifigures like holding onto the back of the tail. Because if you remember oh, in the movie, cool. they all like hang on it yeah. and fly out. And then looking over at these Harry Potter sets, I found that same squid piece again. So I'm pretty happy about that. I thought that piece was really cool. It's an octopus. Oh, it's an octopus? Coochie coo. This set like just came out a few months ago. So yeah, this, this is, is brand new. This is the Viking Village that I actually built and reviewed this. I really like this set, but something I forgot to mention in my review of this set and I knew about was the uh, the helmets here. It's kind of a tragedy that uh, Lego incorporated these like horned helmet things because it turns out that's not real. Vikings didn't have horned helmets. That's just a- Wait, really? Yeah, that's just like Hollywood. Oh. So it's cool. sad because like the whole set, the whole idea of it, and the person who did it was like a historian who really loved Vikings and stuff. And then they just kind of threw in the little horns there. So that's kind of a shame. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't know that. We're coming back to this 2012 era. This is, in my eyes, 2012 was like peak Lego for not just Lego Star Wars, but like all the other themes. But check this one out, Kingdom Joust. Ah, oh, that's just such Whoa. a beautiful set. It looks like very dimension, but it's actually really flat, which is kind of nice. It's easy to put on a shelf. Super cool set. I love the uh, the crown piece on the king there. Just. It looks so good. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually seen this set in person, but this is beautiful. All right, I learned more about the deals going on. Now through the end of the year, there's buy one, get one free bulk pieces. Also a huge end of year sale starting on the 26th, going through the end of 2023. But also something else pretty cool is if you mention Emisaurus, then you get 25% off a minifigure now through Christmas. Super good deals are happening. So stop in before the end of the year if you can. So I have a rule when it comes to video games, apparently lately, I I only really play video games that Lego makes sets off of. So I started playing Overwatch and eventually started playing Minecraft. And now I've been playing a lot of Fortnite, assuming that Lego will be making sets soon. <laughs> this is the exception, uh, Horizon. So I think you need like a PlayStation to play this game. So I never played it. So unfortunately I never got a chance to play this game. 
but it looks really cool. Everybody I know that loves Horizon says they absolutely love this set. I've seen a lot of Horizon fans just get this set and this is their only Lego set they've ever got and they just absolutely love it. Old Fishing Store, one of the OG wow. idea sets. This set is amazing. Anton's Bait Shop, just so cool. We what... don't have this one, <laughs> Ross. Don't. I wanna get it. I would love oh. to get this set, but. Yeah, this is beautiful. I feel like it's in the same lore in the Lego Ideas world as the A-frame cabin. There's also the motorized lighthouse. Like I feel like this and the lighthouse fit in so well together. And it's just one of those white whale sets that I don't think that I'll be picking up anytime soon, but it's beautiful whenever I do get to see it here. This is also one of the greatest castle sets, I think, the medieval market village. I love it and it honestly holds up really well to this day. So this is 2009, so it's a pretty old, you know, 14 year old set and uh, I think it looks great. I absolutely love it. I would like to incorporate this in our Lego city. We just never got around to it. But now it looks like it's time for some bonkle. Yeah, check this out. So this is uh, 2005. I think this is series two bonkle. This one was one of my favorite, golly. So but uh, yeah, so the idea is they would all move their arms around and they had like swords. This one was cool because you can spin his and he does that. But what was cool is you could actually take those off and uh, put them in his shoes, and now he has ice skates. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it was wow. cool. So you can have him ice skating around like a little ballerina. Aw, cute. But uh, this one was always really funny. So this one was the exception. This guy was actually built upside down, if you see. And his whole thing is that he kicks stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, check this out. So they actually have the Queen Anne's Revenge. It's a verified use set, so that means it has been opened, but they have verified that all the pieces are there. This is just a phenomenal set. I would love to get some of these characters like Blackbeard, and honestly, Jack Sparrow is just a really stacked figure in general. This is so funny. So they actually have that same one, but sealed here for $90. It's crazy to see how expensive these are because I remember buying these for like seven or $8 when they came out. It's a weird little <laughs> set that it comes in. It's like a little canister. Yeah, it was That's actually cool. like part of the lore. They like landed on earth in these giant canisters. So this is actually part of the lore, which is cool. And then you can actually utilize <laughs> You can like cool. put the masks on here stuff and display everything. There was a TV show that went with it, right? Some sort of show or movie? There was a movie. So there's Bonacle Mask of Light, which was, you know, the All-American Rejects one. And oh, they yeah. actually have the uh, the Mask of Light Toa over there too. Is it this one here? No, oh. it's the, the one with the Mask of Light. Okay. Yeah, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's cool. We should watch the movie sometime. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. There's actually a few LEGO Minecraft sets I would love to get, but Emily has put an embargo on LEGO Minecraft because I have a ton of LEGO Minecraft sets I haven't opened yet. So over here, this is the Mushroom Island. I'd love to get this one, mostly to get the mushrooms. And then over here is the Jungle Temple. I don't have this set either, but it's still really cool. I like that this one here looks like Pikachu. Oh yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it's it? It's cute. Yeah, it's I like a, that one. It's actually an ocelot. Take a look over here. They have some old Indiana Jones ones. So this one we actually just got a remake of recently, but this one I think still holds up really well. I really love the uh, R2-D2 and C3PO oh, yeah. reference right there in the front and that center. That was in the new sets too, right? Yeah, they had some oh, of that's that too. Cool. And then over here, this one is actually one of my favorite sets of the River Chase. And the reason I like this one, I actually had two of this as a kid because it was a great army builder for those Soviets. I don't know about you, but I actually like Crystal Skull. I don't think it's that bad of a movie. This is probably one of my bigger regrets this year. I remember around Black Friday, I think it was, Barnes & Noble had this exclusive set and I was like, you know, that doesn't really look that great. I don't need it. And it was at a Barnes & Noble a little bit farther away from where I am. And now look at that. It's a $50 exclusive Barnes & Noble set. I didn't know that it would come in this kind of packaging. It looked like yellow packaging when I looked it up ahead of time. Man, I definitely regret it. I think it was like a free gift with purchase, spending over $20 or something like that. It was a really low threshold. Today, we're gonna to be taking a little moment of silence for one of our fallen brothers. This right here is a white Boba Fett, and it's so sad. Um, somebody took this, and a uh, real big fan of, I guess, the Clone Wars. I did the same kind of stuff too, never to a rare figure. They went crazy with the Sharpie on this one. Wow. So this is also an example of sun damage. So you can see the sun damage on these pieces. But my favorite is Liar Liar Pants on Fire. And uh, this is a part of a figure that they found where <laughs> it was quite literally on fire. <laughs> wow, what an interesting little selection up here. There's some old school Lego Star Wars sets from my youth. So this is one of the first waves here is Jabba's prize. I actually think this might be one of the sets I did have. It's hard to remember. 
but it came with the uh, the Gamorian guard. It came with that old school Boba Fett, and then Han Solo just uh, on Solo on the rocks, you know. Over here, this was a really cool one. Jedi Defense Two, not to be confused with Jedi Defense One which I don't believe they have. This is actually Jedi Defense One with the Droidica. This is back when uh, Lego and Star Wars first started collabing in like 1999, 2000-ish. So they're still finding their footing. Yeah, they're figuring here. it out. Okay. But uh, just remember that you're no match for Droidica. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> this is just another little treat. If you have a Lego Star Wars fan in your life, this would be like a perfect little Christmas gift stocking stuffer. And I would not open that. Look at how much it was at Walmart. Oh, wow. <laughs> awesome set. I actually had this one as a kid too. And I just love this old style box with the little Lego system right here. You don't see that anymore. You see the same thing over here too with the Vulture Droid. Super cool set. <laughs> I don't know what this was. I what is that? Seen this like as a, a kid. Yeah, I don't know. It was like, uh, yeah, it does kind of look like a platypus, huh? I and like then this. Uh, Darth Vader transformation. So this one was like 2005. It came out with Revenge of the Sith. That right there is one of the goaded sets. Love that set. They actually recently remade this set where you take uh, Anakin and then spin him around, and then now he's Darth Vader, and he yells, no! But the weird part is, is he has all his limbs here. So I remember when I had this as a kid, I, uh, I removed his legs and one of his arms to make it more accurate. I'm sure you did, Ross. That doesn't surprise me at all. So speaking of Star Wars stuff, if you've seen our last video here at this Bricks and Minifigs, you'll see that they actually have a Cloud City from 2004. Oh, wow. Of course, one of the most goaded sets of all time and the most goaded minifigures of all time. I believe half of the minifigures are exclusive to this set and this set alone. Cloud City Boba Fett itself is probably the prize of this set. And then down here, they have the Legoland train, which I'm really surprised about because this is probably one of the rarest sets of all time. So super cool to see this here in person. It's honestly like going to a Lego museum when I'm here sometimes. Yeah, this is wild. Both of these sets here are really hard to find. They're very rare, but something cool about Bricks and Minifigs is that they do have a buy-in program. And so you can bring in your old Lego sets that you're maybe not using anymore, you don't love them as much anymore, and use those to kind of offset those prices as a trade. And I remember for a long time here, they had that Minecraft slime piece that Ross really liked and he pointed it out like every time we were here. It hundred dollars. It was expensive, yeah. <laughs> but that sold recently and that was through a trade. So someone brought in a bunch of older sets, used that value to trade it in for their slime piece. So I'm glad it went to a good home. I'm glad they're happy with it. The whole trade system is really exciting here. But then something I wanted to point out is this Year of the Dog set. Now, if you guys remember Liz, Ross's sister, she was in my video recently. She read all the comments on that video. She was feeling pretty good about herself. So she might be back at some point. But I saw this here and I was like, wait, that looks just like her dog. Her dog's name is Stevie. So I think I might get this for her as a gift. But then something else back here that I got really excited about is this set here. I do have this set, or at least I think I have like this used in a baggie that I bought here a while ago, but I don't think I ever had one new in box. And I feel like this would be really fun to build. I like all the little mini army guys there. The little cones would be good for the Lego city. So I think I could have some fun with this. So Ross found a bunch of Star Wars here that he's really excited about. Right off the bat, interesting. They have a lot of these figures here today. Normally I don't bring them up, but they actually have a pretty good collection of them. And there's some pretty good ones here. So they actually have the 2015 Vader which is really cool because you can compare it to the 2018 Vader. Oh, wow. So they made Vader twice. I do think the 2018 Vader looks a little bit better, but the 2015 Vader looks very swole. Look at those shoulders. Oh yeah, he has some big shoulders. Yeah, like, okay. I don't want to get an arm wrestling match with him. I also like that this Vader has a chain uh, necklace. Yeah. <laughs> I think that looks really nice. That is canon. They have the Elite TIE Fighter pilot, and then they have a Luke Skywalker, which looks pretty good. But taking a look at some of these sets over here, this is the uh, Republic versus Sith Trooper and the uh, Dark Trooper attack. Super cool like seeing the kind of like legend stuff. I think there's so much Star Wars content now that Lego has a really hard time going back to some of these like old things like legends. Even recent things like Andor, Rogue One, even the sequels we don't see a lot of sets from anymore. So I think they're kind of uh, stretched a little bit thin. But then over here we have the Night Speeder, the Sith Night Speeder. Really, you're getting this one mostly for Savage Opress. Super cool figure, and then also Savage Ventress is also really cool. Moving up here, we see we have the Hawk Wampa Cave. Ooh. I don't have a Wampa. I really I love that. want a Wampa. You need I to get eat, a Wampa. Just eating chicken Ooh. wings. I can relate to that. I love eating chicken wings. This is really interesting. These helmet sets, I am very, very intrigued with how they will be doing. So I think the rumor now is that the Star Wars helmet series has been canceled. I don't know if they ran out of helmets to make or what. 
but <laughs> the idea is that they're canceled. But I have seen some of these sets sell like crazy. The TIE Fighter Pilot that was a Target exclusive for a while. I've seen that that set sells for like 300 bucks new. Oh wow. Which is nuts because I bought it for my buddy, you know, for like 60 bucks when it came out at Target. He's a terrible friend. He hasn't opened it yet. And now I told him, I was like, well, don't open it because it's worth a lot. And he's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is interestingly, the Dark Trooper helmet was going to replace it. So this was also a Target exclusive. But I just don't think there's as much love for the Dark Trooper as there is for a TIE pilot, maybe. So it just doesn't uh, sell as well. But we'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm really curious to see how helmets are going to do in the future. So this right here is one of the best May the 4th promos they've had in a while. And I'm, I'm going to go out and just say it's because they have a minifigure. Please bring back minifigures in the May the 4th promo. Really like that. It has a little blue milk and everything and a mini version of the land speeder over there. Oh, yeah. That was a really cool feature of the set. I remember that. This is another good uh, clone trooper battle pack kind of thing. So this one is a time when, like, Lego stopped doing so much battle pack battle packs, but they would do two bad guys and two good guys kind of thing. I don't feel like Lego's ever perfected the droid deco. But anyways, that's a video for a later date. Okay, moving on over here. This is one of the OG sets from 1999 that I used to have. This was the snow speeder. Or, sorry. This is the speeder bike chase. Man, that tree is abysmal. <laughs> and then here, this is a fun set. So this is the Kylo Ren shuttle. This is after Lego realized that they really screwed the pooch on the first Kylo Ren shuttle that came out in 2016. They made it a little bit more accurate where the wings like come in like this. The, the first time they did it was really, it was not right at all. So this is the General Grievous Starfighter that came out in 2020. This one's really interesting because of that airborne clone trooper. So that's actually the very last clone trooper to have a skirt. I'm in the camp of I don't really mind the helmet holes that much but I am in the camp of I want skirts on my clone troopers without the skirt I just don't think it looks as cool and uh, that particular figure is actually worth a lot um, this set in general was a really expensive set when it came out I was able to find it on sale but that was actually kind of hard to do so I'm glad I got it I'm glad I have that figure one of my other favorite ones here that I pointed out is the Naboo Starfighter so I like this one this is that scene from Phantom Menace when Anakin's like, Qui-Gon told me to stay in this fighter and that's what I'm gonna do. And then he just starts shooting up droid because and flies <laughs> into space and destroys the whole like Trade Federation ship and saves the whole galaxy for a day. So really cool scene. Taking a look here, we have the 2010 Turbo Tank. I actually never had this one. I had the original one from 2005. Comes with a lot of good figures. You have the OG Cad Bane, Ayla Sakura, Soka, Anakin, some clone troopers. But then if we move down here, I'm just kind of taking a look at what they have over here in the little rare bin. So you can see they have Commander Fox over there. They have, um, what's his Bail name? Organa. Bail, yeah. They have Bail Organa. Yeah. Oh, they have that Jedi, who I always forget his name. They have that really cool Boba Fett. They have Commander Wolf and they have Pre Bizla. Always gotta make a stop for my boys, the clone boys, check them all out. They look glorious. And if you move over a little bit to the right, you'll see that there's a super battle droid. And what's interesting is there's not a lot of super battle droids. And the reason for that is because unfortunately Lego like stopped producing super battle droids for like seven or eight years. It's really sad. But we will be seeing January 1st, they are finally coming out with a new clone battle pack that's reminiscent of my all-time favorite Star Wars set, which is the original clone battle pack, and it'll come with super battle droids, so Yay! super happy to see that. Yeah, Ross is thrilled about that one. This is the Avengers Helicarrier. I just absolutely love this set. I never got it because I just didn't know where I would put it. They did a really good job. Like, I love the detail in here. So you got a few Quinn jets, you got some fighter jets, and you even have a little forklift over there picking up pallets. I thought that was really cute. It also is supposed to come with these like little micro versions of all the figures. I don't know if they're here or maybe they have it hidden or something so people don't take it. Moving over here we have the 1989-2019, don't get those dates confused, Batmobile. This one's just super cool. Not much else to say. A lot of black. Very gorgeous set and I love the figures. I wanted to bring attention to this set here. This is the Aquaman set from 2015. I really liked this one, mostly because it came with my boy, Black Manta. I'm a big Black Manta fan. Unfortunately, Emily has no desire to see the second Aquaman, and uh, I gotta say, I'm not really too jazzed about it either. I do like Black Manta, but I don't think that's gonna get me in the theater to see it. We might go around the holidays, we'll see. It doesn't look awful, but I'm just not really too hyped about it. Looking up here to the front area, they have a ton of different Friends and Disney Princess sets, especially this plane here. I've seen this a few times in the past, and I think it's a really good mold for the Friends, what, Heart Lake City airplane set. I think it looks really good. And down here's the party bus. This is one of the most iconic Friends sets. I remember seeing on a poster celebrating 10 years of Friends. This was one of the sets on it, but also the brand new modern mansion 
mansion set, like the $200 huge mansion from Friends coming out January 1st. It looks so good. Kudos to the Friends team. They are doing a very good job lately. Oh, and then looking down here, there's even more Star Wars. They are stacked today. Right here, a lot of the ones I'm picking out, this one was really cool seeing the uh, the anniversary of this drop ship. I remember having like four of the sets originally, and then I only got one of these, and uh, I wish I had gotten more, but I'm happy with one. This is also another great set. This is kind of a remake of the set we looked at earlier, the indoor speeder chase one. Moving over here, this is a very interesting one from Rebels because it was actually based off of like a Hasbro toy that eventually made it into Rebels and then now Lego made it. So pretty fun to see that. That was a good battle pack. And then here we actually just saw this set used and this one I believe is also certified used and this is the Republic Troopers versus the Sith Troopers. Super cool set, super cool figure. Bespin Duel, this was one of those really controversial sets when it came out. I think it came out 2020. I think it was supposed to be like a Comic-Con exclusive. I don't even really remember anymore, but you can find these still out in the wild. So we actually got our set of Bricks and Minifigs as well and have not opened it. I think it just looks gorgeous in the box. So if you're looking for one of these sets, this is definitely a place to come. We got two of them. Oh, and looking yeah. to this front table here, they have a bunch of kind of miscellaneous things. I really want this. I love purple. Turns out purple is my favorite color. And because we've been traveling more, it'd be kind of fun to like have a giant purple sticker kind of luggage tag on my bag. I feel like this would actually help us a lot in finding our bags every time. And then Ross found this chess set over here. Talk us through this. When I make my move, you're free to check the king. No, Ron, no! <laughs> so check this out. This is a really cool Vikings chess set. We have the red Vikings and the blue Vikings, and essentially you get to play chess with them. 200 bucks, man. I don't know, man. This is really cool. I love the an, case, too. Yeah, it's a this beautiful nice. case, and it even closes. Wow. Super cool. Check this out here. I wasn't aware of this ever being a thing in the past, but it's a Bricks and Minifigs 2024 calendar with monthly gift certificate. So when you open it up, you can see really nice photos. Like, I just love these. And it's a full-on calendar that you can hang up on your wall. Here's all the pictures in it. Um, they're really, really cute. I love the holiday one. Look how cute that is. So definitely a fun calendar to keep track of all of your events throughout the year. But then something exciting is the monthly gift certificates on the back. Here's a little sneak peek of what you can get from the calendar, all of the different coupons. There are 12 here. This is just a little sneak peek, like I said, for a few months. If you come in store, you can see the whole thing as well. But for January, it's like buy one, get one, use set for 30% off. Buy two minifigures, get one free. Buy one, get one, use set 30% off. $5 when you spend 50, so that's like 10% off. It's definitely worth it if you come to Bricks and Minifigs. Like honestly, even January, if you just use that one, the calendar would probably pay for itself. Typically, they're $20. But if you come in store and spend at least twenty dollars, then you get it for ten dollars. So check this out. They actually have a timeline of bricks and minifigs and how the franchise was. So it went from two stores in 2010 all the way to 50 stores in North oh, well. America. And fun fact, y'all, in 2023, they are actually <laughs> opening their 100th bricks and minifigs store. We started shopping here just about here in 2017. That's where Ross bought me my first ever Lego set. And you can't forget before you leave, you need to check out these sets because these are the blast from the past. Look at them, <laughs> all those old sets from like the 80s and 90s. Wow. Oh, I love seeing this stuff. Time Wizards, love it, gotta love it. And those OG Explorer sets, Adventurer sets, the Pirate sets, City sets. Man, it's just such a lot of cool stuff here. Wait, okay, so we're about to check out, but then we just saw this in the front here. Look at this cute little Christmas tree display with all the minifigures in their bricks and minifigs holiday sweaters. Wait, I, I want one. How do I get one? That's that looks cute. like Ben. Yeah, that one does Is look that like Ben. ben? <laughs> That's so cool. And then look at all these in front. They have some more of these that are $8 each. That's actually really fun. We will probably be getting one today. I like the toy soldiers a lot. All right, we just got our goodies. We just checked out. That was really fun. We were in there for like, I don't know, two hours. We just like chatting with everybody. One of the employees just got a new puppy, which is really cute. It's time for a car haul. Car, car haul, car haul, car, car haul. First off, I think I wanted this um more than emily this is the 2024 calendar i think it's just gonna look really nice we'll probably hang it up in the lego city Yay. and i really like that it comes with a lot of good deals i definitely recommend this and this actually works at all bricks and minifix so i think all the franchises have this so make sure to check out your local bricks and minifix as well i wanted to get this little bricks and minifigs because it looks like the store clerk here it looks ben. just like ben so i thought it'd be really cute <laughs> to get that so i mentioned this one earlier but this looks like my sister-in-law liz's dog named stevie it's like a little 
red fox looking dog, which apparently was the animal of the year back in 2018. So I think she'll like this. I'll like present this to her for Christmas. And then we got one more little surprise thing because when you get the calendar, it's only $10 if you spend $20 in store. Otherwise it's $20. So in order to save money, we spent more money. Girl math, right Ross? Yeah. And I got this luggage tag. I thought it was cute and it'll go really well on my luggage. We have black bags. So whenever we like check our bags on the big rotating thing, it's hard to find them. So this will help. I like these like little Lego accessories like that. These They're fun. Old. It seems pretty durable and uh, it's Emily's favorite color. Purple. purple. All right, y'all. Well, this was a really fun shopping trip at Bricks and Minifigs here in Austin, Texas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much also to Bricks and Minifigs here in Austin, Texas for sponsoring this video and we'll see you next time. Happy holidays. Bye.